to see again. Folks, with everything going on, it seems like America you used to know and love no longer exists. Or maybe you got a new phone and isn't answering your text. Still, it's upsetting. But for some residents of New Jersey, the United States they thought they knew might never have existed at all. So tonight, The Late Show takes a look at a small civil war between the North, the South, and the, the, the middle part. <laughs> Jim? This is New Jersey, the Garden State, a proud part of the Union since 1787, a state whose contributions to the arts include Bruce Springsteen, Meryl Streep, and Meatball People. Its citizens often identify as being either from North or South Jersey, and they don't get along. North Jersey culture is more crowded, and they tend to think they're better than the rest of the state. North Jersey lacks heart. Southern Jersey person is uh, probably more on the beach end, more, uh, more prideful, a little arrogant. I think they're doing the best they can because they're so close to Philadelphia. Each part of New Jersey is defined by its food. The North calls this a sub while the South calls it a hoagie. The North calls this Taylor ham, and the South calls it pork roll. Call it pork roll on the wrong side of this state and see what happens. Who wants pork roll? That's the way it's been for 250 years, a North and a South, and nothing in between. Enter new governor, Phil Murphy. We are one New Jersey. North, Central, and South. Central, Central. Did you catch that? Central. Central New Jersey. This bombshell made headlines because many New Jerseyans don't believe that Central Jersey even exists. Like Rutgers law professor Jay Feynman. In Living on a Prayer, John Bon Jovi points out we're halfway there, not a third of the way there. And political reporter Claude Brodesser-Ackner. We know why Central Jersey, as a word, was invented. So people don't have to say they're from South Jersey. So I sat down with Governor Murphy to offer him the opportunity to defend his position. Governor, thanks for talking to me today. Honored to be here. We've spoken to people from Southern and Northern New Jersey who say there's a South and a North Jersey, but there is no Central Jersey. What, what do you say to these people? Oh, they're, they're desperately wrong. It's a little bit of a mystical kingdom, kind of a Camelot. It's in the, in the mist, so you really have to sort of grasp it and live it. It's not abstract. It's there, I promise you. So it's, it's, it's mystical and not abstract at the same time. I, isn't that cool? Is it, is it New Jersey's Narnia? It might be. I have you... to think, can I, can I sleep on that one and come back to you? No, nope. you gotta give me an answer now. <laughs> I'm gonna hold your feet to the fire. I think it's definitely maybe Narnia. Should South Jerseyans be allowed to use North Jersey bathrooms and should North Jersey people be allowed to use South Jersey bathrooms and should Central Jerseyans just hold it till they get to Pennsylvania? We are wide open across the, up and down the state on access to bathrooms. No, uh, what part of Jersey are you from? Central Jersey. Okay, and what town, what town in New Jersey? Are you I am from? in Middletown. You're from Middletown? Middletown. That's a little, that's a little on the nose. Yes, it is. Different parts of the state call different foods different names. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna hold up a food, you tell me what you would call them. Okay. Taylor ham or pork roll? That's Taylor pork. Take a stand. I love Throw it. a spine. I love Come on, what corner, is this? I love every corner of the state, but we're very cool people in the central part of the state. We call What is cool? What is cool? What is cool about not having an opinion? That, that right there is Taylor pork. What is this? That looks like a sub or a hoagie. Those are the two okay, words I would can't. Think. See, this I is can't the problem both. with you central people. It's either a sub or a hoagie. That's a sub or a hoagie. This taught us nothing. What makes you quintessentially central? New Jersey. Me personally? Is it that you also have no distinguishing characteristics? I live there. Yeah. Doesn't that give me a, a, a leg up? It was nearly impossible to get Governor Murphy to take a firm stand on anything other than rock and roll. By the way, rock and roll, the soul of rock and roll in many respects is out of central Jersey. New Jersey is a rockin' place. It's got rock and roll, it's got rock and roll, it's got that innovation rock and roll shore lobe. It's one happy rockin' family. One happy rockin' New Jersey family. Rockin' New Jersey. We've got a lot of rock and roll right in here. To settle the debate over central New Jersey, I had to go above the governor to the chief justice 
of the Garden State himself. All rise. All rise. All right, sit. How you doing? I'm ready to render my judgment in the case of douchebag versus some hump who cut me off. Hear ye, hear ye, I, John Stewart, the Chief Supreme Justice of New Jersey, hereby declareth by the power vested in me from whatever it is in the air around Elizabeth, <laughs> declareth that Central Jersey does exist. I grew up there. Mm. I could get a sandwich. By the way, another pronouncement, Philadelphia does not exist. It's actually uh, uh, somewhere, a uh, suburb of Northwest <laughs> Hole. Also known as Delaware. Piece of <laughs> Oh, yeah? Yeah? You want to pee? Oh, what are you, an Eagles fan? Huh? You piece of <laughs> Thank you, Justice Stewart. We'll be right back.